What's up, Bass Babes? It's your girl Joy from Only in Bass World. I don't know when I'm gonna get this up. I don't know, but I don't think the post office is open on Sundays, but I think the P.O. box thing is 24 hours. I don't know. So I have not checked my P.O. box since October 1st. <laughs> I haven't been there. Someone said, did you? Someone said, did you get what I sent you? I was like, uh, nope. Because <laughs> I haven't been back. I figured nobody would be sending anything anyway. Little cards, whatever. So she was like, oh, well, I sent you something. I was like, all right, girl. So I'm going to see. Hopefully it is open. And if it isn't, I will try tomorrow. And then since it is Thanksgiving break, Clinton and all the yelling with the with that game, that Fortnite, is too much. I'm at my wits end. This is not how I want to spend my break. I mean, the girls and I, we have things planned. Clinton doesn't want to be involved in anything, so whatever. We're going to put up the tree. We've never put up the tree this early. Uh, go to the library a couple of times, um, do some cooking, some baking. I'm going to make sweet potato pie. Um, probably do that tonight, make sweet potato pie. So if you are the chosen person to make a sweet potato pie, you want to use my recipe, okay? Because y'all know I make everything good, everything, everything is good. So, <laughs> so let's go see what's at the post office and if it's open. And if it is closed, then this vlog will be put on hold. <laughs> and I'll go do a mukbang. I want to try that um, KFC's um, waffle and chicken gizmo. I know I love to eat. I've done like 99,000 vlogs today. I'm getting it in, y'all. I'm getting it in. What you looking at? Why do people drive by and they feel like they got to look at you in your car? What you looking at? You don't know me. You think I'm cute? <laughs> We're going to go see what's waiting for me or it could be nothing. And I wanted to take this time to... I don't know. I like spending time in my car for some weird reason. Because I listen to my audiobook. I think it's the small space. It's private. Sometimes it feels like a little sanctuary. And, um... I want to talk to y'all for a minute. So it doesn't matter. I'll just get out of the house. I don't get out of the house too much. I don't got nowhere to go, really. So anyway, sometimes with parenting, um, I have my ups and downs with parenting, my emotions. And it is not always easy parenting, especially single parenting. And not everyone understands me. You know, everybody's different. And I also mentioned in another vlog how sometimes I get tired of people trying to put me in a box because I don't think like them. I don't dress like them. I sure enough don't behave like I'm them. I'm more live by the edge of my seat. I make a lot of mistakes going through a storm, but I don't know what's going on soon. Like I said before, I'm having problems with the house. Whether we keep the house or we lose the house, I don't know. So I'm filling out applications and stuff like that because certain things happened that was out of my control. And it is what it is, okay? So we could be packing up or making it do what it do. I mean, it's not the end of the world. It can be worse. At least we're all healthy. I mean, the kids get on my nerves sometimes, but at least we're all pretty healthy. And, you know, I don't have too many problems. I got, like, baby problems with the kids. Messy. Um, you need to study harder. You know, so it's not anything crazy. So I have to at least say I'm blessed in that area. I'm trying to find the positive out of it. But, um... So, so I feel I have always been this way. I have always been transparent. Not everyone appreciates how um, candid I am. They don't appreciate my candor. They don't appreciate those things. But I feel as though I tell these things or I tell my life story.
story so maybe you can learn something or you know somebody else that can relate like dude look at her she's going through the same thing and she made it to the other side but when you're living that storm it's terrible but something like i said with the house something's gonna happen we either gonna be lighting fires all winter or we're not you know but we'll be somewhere you know i got a job but we'll snap back but certain things were out of my control and blah 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 i don't get um child support i don't get support in that sense so that has kind of hurt a little too but it is what it is i mean everybody has their struggles so anyway um uh i don't make money from youtube i might like make 50 dollars or something like that nothing major so I, I can't even rely on you so i don't make money from youtube like that i might like i said i might make 50 dollars 75 dollars what if you know buy some groceries buy some bread okay so anyway so i don't rely on that but thinking about getting a second job i'd be tired because the kids are so active anyway and as a single parent sometimes i get tired sometimes i i'm at my wits end my entire vlog has been based on my honesty my entire vlog has been based on my transparency with my business my family's business i try not to sh share other people's business okay my story my truth but my truth may not fit your ears. You may not agree, but people have a problem with me telling my truth. If it doesn't <laughs> affect you, why you get? Why you mad? Why you mad? And another thing, how, how I've said this over before, my kids agree to the vlog. They know that I'm honest. They, I'll be like, you know I'm telling, you know I'm talking on the vlog, right? So hopefully, when I'm gone, they can look back. Oh, maybe I was, you know, I did behave a certain way. Or maybe mom was a little cuckoo. Who knows? But they can use this life experience and do what they wish with it. Oh, I don't want a parent like her. I did not want a parent like my parents. No, I did not. I didn't want to grow up like my brother and sister. No, I did not. So I did the opposite. Is everything I say right? No. Is everything I do correct? No, it isn't. There is no rule book to parenting. It isn't. But sometimes when I get emotional and I'm in my feelings, sometimes writing is therapeutic for me. I used to do it on Facebook all the time. I would tell, oh, Clinton this, oh, the kids this, oh, this. And then sometimes they were like my therapist. They will help me get through the rough times of single parenting. And sometimes I get frustrated with that single parenting too. I don't have an outlet. I don't have that release. Oh, can you guys spend the holidays with your dad? How about you guys do that? They're not going to do that. Whatever. So when people don't agree, if I say, I don't know, let's just say, oh, the kids are selfish. Most kids are selfish. I, I don't know what it is. I Genetically, I just think they just want, 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 want. Me, 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 me. It's about me, me, me. I, I, I. Okay? That's most kids are like that. So if I say my kids are selfish, you know, they bought food home for themselves and didn't want to share it. Okay? You, you're selfish. Maybe it's learned behavior. I was probably like that when I was a little girl. I remember my brother asked me for a bite of my pizza. Ja, I stuffed that whole pizza in my mouth. And he was so, it's going to be gross. He was so upset. He was like, give it to me. I had chewed it up. It was just big chunks. And I took it out of my mouth. I swear to God, he ate it. <laughs> I was being selfish. I did not want to share my pizza. Okay? So I, I remember that experience. So we do things all the time. And so if I call my children selfish, that's what they are. I mean, they all have, and they have great moments where they're loving and they're kind. Then where they're whining, where they're getting on my nerves. They, they go through all phases. I go through all phases as a parent. Oh, well, this is great. Let me make you breakfast. Oh, y'all getting on my nerves. I can't look at this dirty kitchen. Look at this. Yes, I go through all phases because that's what life is about. My life is not perfect, but I've chosen to share it with you two. And with my kids be embarrassed because it is what it is. No, you you were selfish. 
And someone said, oh, it's not uh, your kid's responsibility to help. No, my kids didn't ask to be here. My kids are here. My three kids are here because I chose to have them on my own. On my own. <laughs> so that's why they're here. Okay. So, yes, I. it's not their responsibility to take care of me. It is my responsibility. Oh, I don't want to miss the post office. It is not their responsibility to take care of mom. And I agree. I agree with that. But I never in a million years thought that I would be raising kids by myself. I never thought that. Mm -mm. Never thought that. And it is so hard. I think it's hard financially and things I can't do with them, things I want to do with them. I think that's what makes it hard. I mean, I could kind of deal with the other stuff and not having time, not having breaks, not being able to provide certain things that they want. Like Sydney wants to do this volunteer stuff and that thing is over $300. I just don't have it. You know, I want to, I'm like, oh, how can I? And then sometimes when I used to get child support and I would use that money for my kids. Um, if they needed some medical stuff or if they needed new sneakers, Bobby needs new basketball sneakers. Her freaking basketball sneakers are over $100. I'm like, you better wait for Christmas. That's coming out of your thing. So I'll try to scrape up basketball sneakers for her. So I'm just like, it's the little things. And people can't tell me that people don't live check to check or have that struggle. You can't because there are plenty of times I go up to the gas station and you know the whatever the previous person done charged on there put in their gas tank is still up there. I've seen seven dollars, I've seen eight dollars, ten dollars that they put in their gas tank. You broke, but you making it do what it do with the little bit you have, and I can't you know get upset over that. You you making you making you trying to get to point A to point B. You do what you got to do. So I'm doing what I gotta do. Some things working out and some things aren't. So I'm just trying to wrap my brain around ooh, to deal with things the best way I can. The post office. Ooh, there's a man on a horse. Post office. I don't know, I don't come here very often. I still have to look at signs to know where the post office is. Go on, mister. Mister. Okay. So, so don't get upset. My kids are well aware of all my blogs, of all my posts. They're not embarrassed by it because that's not how I raise my kids. I raise my kids to live in their truth. Does it make any any changes? No. But they know their mother crazy. That's okay. They're okay. My kids are okay. Clinton. Oh, is this thing open? I don't think so. I'm gonna find out, guys. I don't think so. I see one car here. I don't even know my my post office box number. I don't know. Let me see if the door is raining. So anyway, um, I don't even know the number. It could be locked. Let me go before I don't take the camera apart. But anyway, I've always been transparent. I just want you to know I've always been transparent. Not everybody agrees with the transparency of joy. Um, they want me to think and behave they, the way they think I should think and behave. I mean, I'm not out there trying to beat the system on welfare. I don't have a problem with welfare. Welfare. I've been there, done that for, for for some food, honey. I've done that. But now that I'm a teacher, I don't qualify. It would come in handy. <laughs> yes, it would. But I don't qualify. Let me just see if this door is open. Mm. Yes, they're open. And I'm not going to, you know, I still know my subs are low. My viewership has gone down. But I'm still not changing who I am for views to be like a monster. Maybe people think I'm already a monster, but that's okay. My kids are very, very happy. Sydney crawled in bed with me the other day. Bobby does it every day. Clinton, he just wants food. That's all he wants. He wants food. So, but I feel as though with the vlogging and the mukbanging, um, 
he lo he loves food. I love food. Um, that we have bonded a little more in, in that aspect. I will say he got his little Twitch money. <sighs> he got his little Twitch money, child. Anyway, he he brought me home a uh, um water burger um butter chicken biscuit or something like that. I thought that was cute. 